guys, I'm Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cool cupcakes that actually look like melted ice cream cones. Let's get started. I'm making my dropped ice cream cupcakes into a bit of a candy piñata. So today I'm going to be using some sprinkles, some red M&Ms, one baked mini cupcake. My candy for my piñata is going to be a selection of mini marshmallows, M&Ms and Skittles. I've got some melted dark chocolate and I'm using a waffle cone, but make sure that you get the ones with the flat tops, not with the little angled tops. I've got a spoon, some scissors, a knife, some of our perfectly pipable buttercream frosting. Mine's pink today, but any color you like, and I will link to our recipe in the description box below. And I've also got some wax paper. Take your waffle cone, and because waffle cones have a tendency to soften when they're exposed to the air, we're going to sort of strengthen it by adding in a couple of teaspoons of that melted dark chocolate. So I just popped in two teaspoons of melted dark chocolate and then using my knife, I just dragged the chocolate all the way up so that it's right up to the edges. That's just gonna give our waffle cone a bit more stability and a bit more flavor. Let that completely set, either in the fridge or on the bench is fine. And then you want to unwrap your miniature cupcake and get that ready to pop in. Take a small handful of your assorted candy and just pop it into the waffle cone. Make sure that you're leaving a little bit of space for that mini cupcake to sit in. So you can choose the type of candy that you want to put in the top of your waffle cone, but make sure that it's not too heavy because if you choose too heavy of a candy, it's actually going to pull the top of the waffle cone down and topple your melted ice cream cupcake over. With your candy all in place, you want to take a little bit more of that melted dark chocolate and just pop it around the top edges. This is going to be to glue your mini cupcake in place so it doesn't fall out when we add the frosting and dip it. In goes the mini cupcake and push it down nice and firmly without cracking your waffle cone. Now I've got my frosting in a Ziploc bag so I'm just going to cut a generous corner off to fashion it into a bit of a piping bag which just allows me a bit more control and then I'm just going to basically spiral it around. So what you're aiming to do here is give that cupcake a really nice rounded dome on top. So I've put a bit of a swirl on and then I'm going to use just a knife to smooth that off so it's really nice and round. Pop your cone in the freezer for five minutes and that'll set your frosting really, really nice and firm. You need that to be firm before you can dip it. Now taking your little spoon, you just wanna spoon a little bit of chocolate onto the wax paper or the baking paper that you're using. As you're spooning it, you wanna make sure that you're kind of pushing it out around just little intervals to make it look like that splatter of an ice cream that's just dropped. Take your ice cream now and place it directly downwards into your melted chocolate, spinning it to get a really nice, neat, even coat. And then you wanna place it on an angle directly down onto the back of that ice cream splatter. You can support that with a little bowl or something just for 10, 20 seconds until that chocolate becomes tacky. Before that chocolate sets completely, take some of your sprinkles and just lightly sprinkle them on and then take one of your M&Ms and pop that M&M right in the center. So it's kind of looking like it's all fallen down, the cherries kind of smooshed on the ground and all the sprinkles have come off with that frosting. So that completes our dropped ice cream cupcake tutorial. And these are cupcakes, they're waffle cones, they're piñatas full of candy. There's a little bit of everything going on with these. I hope you guys have enjoyed this idea. If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe to My Cupcake Addiction. And as always, thanks very much for watching.